Hello and welcome back to GT Planet for this latest video in our series comparing some of the cars in Gran Turismo 7 against the real thing in the real world. I'm Andrew, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of GT Planet and this is the Honda Civic Type R. So, the Honda Civic Type R that we have here, kindly loaned to us by Honda UK for this video, is the FL5 generation, or the 6th generation of Civic Type R. It was added to Gran Turismo 7 in the 1.38 update in September of 2023, so actually quite recently. Players may well recognise the car from Honda's first ever official eSports event, which was also run in Gran Turismo 7 during October. The Honda Racing EMS Challenge required players to set the fastest laps that they could in the time trials at, depending on their age, the Nürburgring Nordschleife or Suzuka circuits. And that's because the car actually holds the front wheel drive lap records at both tracks. Any player who could beat those lap records in the game were eligible to receive a certificate to mark their accomplishment. As you can see, the car we have here is extremely similar to the one in the game, pretty much identical. Uh, on the outside we've got the self-same racing blue pearl paint which is pretty much the best colour. certainly attracted a lot of uh, comments from passers-by and onlookers as we were driving around. It has the same 19 inch matte black alloy wheels. Um, they're actually unusually an inch smaller than those of the outgoing model. Moving around the back there's that extremely unsubtle triple exhaust which makes some wonderful noises as you're driving along and uh, that's just below that equally unsubtle enormous rear wing. One thing you can't see in the game, unfortunately, is the engine uh, that's hiding under the bonnet vent there. This is the 325 horsepower K20 C1 Turbo, which is pretty well known to players of Gran Turismo 7, and it's capable of pulling the Civic Type R to 60 miles an hour in around about five and a half seconds. On the interior, we've got exactly the same glorious suede. You've got the red suede covered sports seats in the front with the Type R logo embossed upon them. In the rear, they're black suede, which is a bit of a pain to keep clear, so I advise not having any children back there. And a lovely suede steering wheel. You can see there's a Type R badge over on the passenger side. And in the center console, we've got the important aluminium gear knob, which has been part of the all Type Rs for generations. But next to it, there's the all-important R button. That tightens everything up, gives you more performance, gives you better handling, you've got heavier steering, and it also changes the instruments in the binnacle. And as you can see from the car in the game, R mode is permanently turned on, as it should be. Even in driving, the real car and the game car feel, and importantly, sound very similar. You'll notice that the real car has exactly the same gear shift warning beep as the game car, which lots of players have pointed out. But it's part of the real thing as well. It has to be said that in this UK market car, the sound does come at a slightly different engine speed than in the game car, but I think that's just a, a matter of local programming because the gearbox speeds themselves appear to be the same.
So that's all from me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.